Hello everybody. This short video is to talk to you about the materials we will be using to make our mini shrine. I have a table full of materials as you can see here and I'm not really quite sure what I will be using and that's how I recommend that you approach it too. So I, I purchased a couple of boxes that are this size. I purchased one tiny box and they, they have um, they have tops and probably I will be maybe using it like this or even perhaps like this as a shrine. I may collage, I may paint them, so definitely have some collage materials with you, some uh, paint, as you can see I have lots of paint there. I also have this, it's a Buzz Lightyear, this was a dollar at Michael's, it comes with a puzzle inside, I'll save the puzzle for some other project and I'm going to use the box. And also I found these lights, these are um, Halloween lights. They're orange. I think I would have, at first I was going to buy some Christmas ones that would be white, you know, because they have everything out already for Christmas. But these were smaller. And so they're going to go into one of these small uh, boxes. So these are like paper mache, by the way. So I'm going to make a hole and put some of the, the uh, lights through it. So I figured these would work better. Um, because of the size, even though they're yellow, which, you know, actually it might be really cool because Dia de los Muertos is super colorful. Oh, I found these really awesome skulls, too, at, um, where did I find them? At Michael's. There's one. See? Pretty cool, and they were only, what, like $1.49? Um, you will need a rag to wipe your brushes on. I found this and I was thinking, you know, maybe I would use it in there like a frame. This from an old slide where you used to have to send work in on slides for galleries. I have some tissue paper right there because as you can see here, tissue paper is very common for Dia de los Muertos and you can make it tiny, tiny, you know, like to resemble flowers. This was not really a flower, but I will go over um, and show you how to easily make these very typical Mexican flowers. I have all kinds of paint, craft paints, um, heavy body paints, medium body paints. I have a glue stick because I have a glue gun that I will probably use. Lots of beads. Some of these flitter flakes, which I may use the flitter flakes or I may use regular glitter that I have here. I also have these tiny things of glitter. Um, I have some ribbon and also because we are going to make um, make our our collages, perhaps. Oops, sorry, I have to move all this. But I have some uh, Mod Podge to glue things down, and I have some bead supplies. A few years ago, my husband was really keen on making necklaces and. We have tons of these beautiful supplies because when he got tired of it, he got tired of it. And um, a lot of them are semi-precious stones, which I might not use in here, but there, um, there are also some cool seashells. Some of these that we even found ourselves and shark's teeth. And then since we're going to make, um, make all kinds of collage and types and that type of thing on it. Well, I have some ribbon here too. But I will also be using some photographs. And so, let me grab them. So I have this, this photo of my grandma and my grandpa. And so my husband's going to scan it and I'm going to make it small 
so that it can go in here. So that will be my shrine to my grandma. Now, for, um, for the other shrines, I'm going to be using some of the Loteria cards from um, the, the Mexican Loteria. And so there's some cool ones like La Rosa. I can make one for my grandma with La Rosa because she that, that was her favorite flower. Um, here's one with La Muerte. And so there, there's a whole bunch of cards and we will go ahead and post these for you so that you can download them and print them and use them. But these are the real cards from Mexico that my in-laws brought me. I'm sorry about my phone ringing. And what I'm looking for is La Sirena, the mermaid, which is one that I'm going to use. Well, I can't find it, but you'll see me working on it. Ooh, here's the Diablo. Um, I think that that's about it. And if I pull other things from the studio, then you will just please bear with me and just know that you should gather as many knick-knack type of things, beads and glitter and ribbon and tissue paper and of course the Mod Podge uh, scissors too. You will need scissors and papers and such to create your shrine. Okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna go get that phone and get started on the project. Look forward to seeing what you're going to make. Ciao.